Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well we've got a very simple little scroll effect for you today. I've got some images down at the bottom of this page. When they come into view they're going to fan out and end up being spread out like that. And when they go back down they're going to close up again. Really easy to do. There's no coding involved with this today. We're using the inbuilt features of the fantastic Divi theme. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is enable my Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work, which is right here. And I'll simply get rid of this row. Now I've got a section here. I'm going to add a new row, a little green button right here. I'm going to use column of three. You can use what you want. I just happen to be using three for this. I'm going to use a simple image module. Divi by standard comes with all these light gray modules here. Dark blue ones are for Divi Supremes, which is a fantastic add-on, but we don't need that today for this. And there's some more regular Divi ones down here. They also give you an extra dozen or so if you've got WooCommerce installed to help display your products. So I'm going to put an image in here, just a regular Divi image module. And let's select our images. I'm just going to simply duplicate this and change the image on each of them rather than add a new module. Six one half a dozen the other. This is slightly quicker doing it this way. And I'm simply going to flip the images on these other modules here. Okay, well we've got our three images in here now. Let's just save that. And at the moment it's just a regular three column section. Um, let's make our magic happen using the scroll effect. So let's go into our first one and decide what we want to do with it. I'm going to go into the module, the dark tab. I'm going to go over to the advanced. Right at the bottom you'll find scroll effects. And you can move it up and down. That's enabled by default left and right which is what I'm going to do at the moment horizontal motion you can fade it scale it rotate it blur it if you want to I'm simply going to use some horizontal motion so I'm going to flip the switch and it's actually moved there already it's going to trigger at the middle middle of the element you can do it at the top or the bottom if you want it to stop and start further up for the top and further down for the bottom I'm going to leave mine on the middle right there Let's move it to its starting position, which will be down the bottom here. Now I don't want it quite overlapping that other one like that. So I'm going to take that down a bit. As you can see, as I'm taking it down, it's moving it. I think I'll have mine starting right about there. Then when it comes up the page, I don't want it going way off the side there. I just want it to end up where it should be, which is about there. So I'm going to take the end to zero. So when we're ending right up here, it's going to be right there. It's going to slide in as we go. Now you can use the middle to offset it, different values in the middle if you want to change the way it's going to work halfway up the page. At the moment I'm going to leave that there. I may adjust it in a minute when we do this other one. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to go into this other one here. I'm going to leave that middle one as it is back over to the advanced tab down to scroll effects at the bottom and enable the horizontal motion again for this one again I'm going to leave it in the middle flip the switch to on again I just want it to end up in the regular position which will be zero and let's roll it down again to where we want to start when it starts I want it to be sort of opposite of this one so I'm going to do a minus value let's try minus four negative four that's a little too much there you can increment up by halves right there there we go minus three that works absolutely fine let's roll up the page and that's got it that's absolutely perfect for us how easy was that like i say you can offset things if you want it to be in the regular position before you can move this down 
it'll be in the regular position before it gets where we were going there. You can also spread it out and change the value and have it doing less, say negative, negative one. And during this little bit here, it'll be negative one. You can just change the way it works up the page like that. But for me, I'm happy for it to be back at 50% and zero, which is the default right there. There we go. Let's just check that again. Let's get this out of the way. So when we're down the bottom of the page, they're bunched up like that. And they're simply going to spread out as we go up the page. And if you've got several rows of images, that's quite a nice little effect. For instance, if we were to clone this row or even clone this, let's clone the section. I'm not going to change the pictures out. But so you're scrolling down the page. This set scrolls up and then this set will scroll into view like that. That's a nice little feature to have on your site. As you can see, really easy to do. So let's check it's going to work on the front end. So I'm going to save the draft or publish if you're ready. Exit the Visual Builder. Now let's scroll on down and see that scroll effect in action. There's our first set scrolling in. There's our second set scrolling in. And if you wanted to, you could have them doing something else as they went out. That's entirely up to you. And as you go down, they're going to fold back in. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a very simple image scroll effect, horizontal image scroll effect using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.